Hey there, I'm Ken, this is Canadian Retro Things, and today I am going to attempt to answer the age-old question, do alcohol and eBay mix? So a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting around having a few of the old wobbly pops, and I went on my computer, went onto eBay, saw something that caught my eye, so I bought it. And it's here. Now I only paid $45 for this, so with the cost of how much things are nowadays, it doesn't have to be that impressive to make up for that. And honestly, I've avoided looking at the uh, listing to see what it was that I bought. I know one thing that I bought in here, but I can't remember what the rest of it was. So I guess I'll open this up and see if uh, it was worth it. Maybe there's some stuff in here that doesn't work and I can fix it. Okay, first thing I have to do is open up the package. So, there we go. It's all in a couple of different boxes here. So, oh, these are taped together. As you can see, these are cartridges for the Atari 2600. Yeah, I prefer he hadn't put tape on the uh, labels. Okay, so we have football. Ooh, Cubert. Uh, word zapper, breakout, defender, got that one. Ooh, E.T. I've never owned E.T. Space jockey. Pitfall, California Games, haven't found the one that I remember that I bought, Warlords, ooh, Popeye, love this game on the ColecoVision, Missile Command, ooh, and that cartridge is in nice shape too, Star Raiders, there's the reason I bought this. Tennis. And Taz. I believe that's everything. Yep. So that's one, two, three, four. That's 15 cartridges for $45, so $3 a cartridge. I guess the next thing to do is I gotta go hook up a colleague, or sorry, Atari 2600, and try these out to see if they work or not. I have all the games here, and I am gonna move through them pretty quickly, testing to see if they work. I'm starting here with Defender. And we have a picture. Warlords. Oh. Now I did give all these cartridges a quick little cleaning on the uh, connectors before I put them in my machine because before any of these cartridges go into my Atari, I'm going to take some electrical contact cleaner, put some into a little dish like this, take a cotton swab, and give the cartridges a good cleaning. It's really easy with these ones that are completely open like this, that have had the little covers broken off. Just have to 
do a quick little wipe down to the uh, connectors to make sure there's nothing on them. A little more difficult when you come to the ones that have the protector on them. Got to take a pokey thing then, stick it in the side, push down. And then, same thing, a little wipe down, a little, little scrub to make sure nothing's on there that'll get into my machine. And do the rest of them. Warlords does not work. Doesn't work pile. Missile command. Missile command looks like it works. Uh, breakout. Yeah, there we go. Just needed to. Cubert. One of the games I was happy that was in there. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got Cubert Tennis. Does not appear as if tennis works. Football. Now, one I've never even heard of Word Zapper. Ah, there we go. Need to be taken in and out a few times. Space Jockey. Another one I've never heard of. It's these, uh, actually these um, vid tech games I had not heard of. So Pitfall. An absolute classic. California Games. Popeye. You know what? That's not an Atari cartridge. That's a ColecoVision cartridge. All right, I have got my ColecoVision hooked up. I've got my copy of Popeye. Let's try it out. In it goes. Oh, oh, yes, look at that, it works. Oh, talk about irony. Like, three days ago on my Twitch stream, I was playing Sailor Man on the uh, color computer, talking about how Popeye was a game I played so much of as a kid, and it was one of my absolute favorite games. And I was still searching for it on the ColecoVision. Little did I know it was on the way. Here's that clip. When I was growing up, this was one of my favorite games on my ColecoVision. Yeah, I'm still looking for it for my ColecoVision collection because uh, this is one I really had fond memories of when I was a kid. Taz. So that's 14 Atari games, one ColecoVision game. And it looks like Taz works for the reason I bought this. Star Raiders works. As you can see behind me, I got tennis working. Just look, took a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit more cleaning. She fired right up. Cannot say the same thing about Warlords, though. It's still not working. So I can do one of two things with this cartridge. I can take it apart and try to fix it. Maybe it's a broken trace or a dry solder joint. Or I can take it apart and use it to make my own custom cartridges. Haven't decided which one I'm going to do yet. But the question was, do alcohol and eBay mix? Well, I paid $45 for all of these games. That's all in, including shipping. That works out to $3 a game. Only one of them didn't work. So yeah, I would say in this instance, alcohol and eBay did work out. I'm not gonna say it's gonna work out every time. As a matter of fact, I would say 90% of the time, it's not gonna work out. 
I got lucky. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and or the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. Also, check out the link below. Check out my Twitch channel. I'm going to be hooking up this Atari one of these days, playing some of these games live on the air. Drop by, say hi, talk about some old games. Anyways, I've got nothing else to say, so I will see you next time.